today we are going to choose knitting yarn. Hi guys, I'm Kristen and welcome to Studio Knit. So in our Absolute Beginner series, we are going to talk about yarn and how to select yarn. There are so many options, entire books on yarn selections, and we could easily fall into a rabbit hole of fascinating fiber options. But today, let's stick to the essentials of what you need to know when selecting yarn that is best for you as you learn how to knit. Knitting yarn and needles. Let's first talk about how your yarn plays nicely with your knitting needles. In a nutshell, smaller weight yarns are paired with smaller size needles, while heavier weight yarns are paired up with larger size needles. Lucky for us, the Craft Yarn Council has taken all the guesswork out of it and created a standard yarn weight system. Now, yarn labels tell you exactly how yarn and needles are best paired together. So if you already have knitting needles, you just need to match up their size with the suggested yarn weight. And if you already have yarn in your stash, you just need to match it up with the right size knitting needles. Yarn weight. For beginning knitters, I suggest selecting heavier weighted yarns. From the standard yarn weight system here, that would be medium, which is four, bulky five, or super bulky six. These heavier weighted yarns, they're easier to handle. Your associated knitting needles will then be on the larger side as well. And when starting out, many beginning knitters feel more secure with substantially sized needles in their hands. Again, if a friend has lent you some free yarn, use it. Even if it's on the lighter weight spectrum, hey, you can't beat free. And if this knitting series has been helpful to you, please like up this video. It really helps me out. Yarn fiber, knitter's choice. Yarns are split into two major groups, natural and synthetic. Your yarn label will tell you the yarn content and you'll sometimes see that it's a mix of both natural and synthetic. Natural yarns can be further categorized down by animal or plant fiber. Common yarns created by animal fiber include wool, alpaca, angora, cashmere, silk, even possum from New Zealand. Plant fiber yarn content is often cotton, bamboo, hemp, and linen. Synthetic fibers are made from acrylic, nylon, and polyester. These are typically inexpensive, and so even though there might be a stigma to fake fiber, it can also be great for learning how to knit, and it also is really durable throughout the years. Now, cost is a consideration, so as you browse your options, you'll see that yarns can vary greatly in cost. Yarn hauls can get expensive as they add up, so it is an important consideration. High-end natural yarns, they can actually cost as much as $300 for one ball of yarn, seriously. But there's a lot of lower price point options too, and most are under $10. So have fun with it. Yarn color. Pick a color. Once you've decided your yarn weight and fiber, pick a color that speaks to you. Lighter yarns are sometimes easier to see where dark yarns can be a bit more difficult. But you know, if you're in an emo state of mind and fall in love with the black yarn, go for it. Solid colors are recommended as well because I want you to really clearly see your beautiful knitting piece. I suggest choosing a solid color yarn. That would be a yarn that is one solid color so that's not striped, variegated, or too fancy. <laughs> Keep it simple with a basic one color yarn for now and then you can go wild with the glittery neon stripes later. Action item of the day. Sit tight and await day three. <laughs> because we need to pair our knitting yarn with the correct needle size, feel free to hold off on making any purchasing decisions quite yet. Tomorrow, we're going to look at knitting needles, and so once you've completed that, you can decide exactly how you'd like to pair up your selections. But for now, sit tight and eagerly await the next lesson in the series. And now it's time to check off how to choose yarn in your series planner. Oh, and while we're on the topic of yarn, I just have to suggest this movie. I saw it last year with my local yarn shop, Imagine It, here in San Francisco, while it was in theaters. It's called Yarn the Movie. Okay.
And so now that you're a yarn expert, you just might want to check it out. <laughs> I mean, that mermaid, and it's narrated by Barbara Kingsolver. I just loved every minute of it. So I hope this information on exactly how to select your yarn has been helpful to you. If you haven't yet, please make sure to subscribe to my channel here. Click that bell so you receive notifications each time a new video comes out. And also, you want to make sure that you're on my mailing list. I have the link in the description below so that you are notified directly from me each time more information comes out that's going to be helpful to you in your knitting journey. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching guys. I'll see you next time. Bye!